I know you have to go in a second. I just want to ask you one more question because as one of the great writers in our culture and also someone who worked with Alan Moore and, and I know we have a lot of we have a lot of people who are writers or creators who who listen to the podcast. Just is there any way to sort of encapsulate um you know is you uh, a little bit of your writing process or something that you learned or things that you think are important. Or, you know, when you constantly get that question from people at cons, like, I am a young writer. and Do you have any advice? What do I do? I mean, I know it's an impossible question to answer one, no, but, it's, but it's do you, one that I get asked all the time. Do you, one do, I you, do, answer. do you write every day or do you just write when you're inspired or what's, what's, what have you, what have you learned? Well, if you only write when you're inspired, you may be a fairly decent poet, but you will never be a novelist because, um, you're going to have to make your word count each day and those words aren't going to wait for, for you whether you're inspired or not. So you have to write when you're not inspired and you have to write the scenes that don't inspire you. And the weird thing is that six months later, a year later, you'll look back at them and you can't remember which scenes you wrote when you were inspired and which scenes you just wrote because they had to be written next. Where the process of writing can be magical. It can... There are, there are times when you step out of an upper floor window and you just walk across thin air and it's, it's absolute and utter happiness. Mostly it's a process of putting one word after another. It, it's like out in, in the Peak District in England um, and up in Scotland, there, there are people who make dry stone walls and they've been making dry stone walls for generations. And the way they make these, these dry stone walls is they have lots and lots of rocks, and they put one down, and then they put another one down that fits, and they put another one down that fits, and they put another, and they know how to do it. And somehow, they create these walls that are absolutely stable. And they put, just by putting one rock down after another, and eventually, you have a wall. And that's how you make a novel. You put one word after another, and then you repeat. Um, so when people come to me and they say, I want to be a writer, what should I do? I say, you have to write. <laughs> and sometimes they say, well, I'm already doing that. What else should I do? And I say, you have to finish things. Yes. Because that's where you learn from. I, you know, you learn by, by finishing things. If there's other advice, there's, there's so much advice you can give, you know, young writers, particularly writers who want to work within a certain genre, because you can say, look, Read within that genre to understand what people are doing, but then go and read outside your comfort zone. If you love, if you love a certain kind of movie and you want to make Hollywood action thrillers, go watch other kinds of movies. Watch documentaries. Watch arty foreign Cross films. Cross-pollinating the creative process. Go, yeah, go, go see the other stuff. Find everything you can. If you like books and you like fantasy and you want to be the next Tolkien... Don't read big Tolkien-esque fantasies. Tolkien didn't read big Tolkien-esque fantasies. He read books on, on Finnish philology. And, <laughs> and, you know, and that's, you go and you read outside your comfort zone. Go and learn stuff. Hit primary sources. And then the most important thing for anyone, once they get any kind of level of quality, at the point where you're ready to write and you can write, is tell your story. Don't try and tell the stories that other people can tell because any starting writer will, you always start out with other people's voices. You've, you've been reading other people for years. You're going to tell the kinds of things that you've been doing, but as quickly as you can, start telling the stories that only you can tell because there will always be better writers than you and there'll always be smarter writers than you and there'll always be you know, people who are much better at doing this or doing that. But you are the only you. You know, Tarantino is, you can criticize everything that Quentin does, but nobody writes Tarantino stuff like Tarantino. He is the best Tarantino writer there is. And that was actually the thing that people responded to. They're going, this is an individual writing with his own point of view. Well, that's, and I think that's excellent advice for any creative endeavor. And it's very, and that's, you know, Bill Hicks said a version of, you know, just work on your own voice because then you've cornered that market. Yeah, exactly. There will always be people out there who are 
you know, there are better writers than me out there. There are smarter writers. There are people who can plot better. There's all of those kind of things. But there's nobody who can write in your game and story like I can. And how do you break through the wall? You know, like the wall. You're sitting down and you're like, I know I have to put one word in front of the other, but I can, that there, I can actually see a fucking brick wall in front of my eyes because... For me, it's always been a process of trying to convince myself that what I'm doing in a first draft isn't important. I remember the incredible liberation of the point that I moved from typewriter to computer because I was no longer making paper dirty. It was just sort of notional. It was like imaginary. I was writing these words, but they didn't matter. And then a decade after that, I remember the, the liberation again of suddenly going, I could write in notebooks because it isn't real until I put it, I keyboard it. Mm -hmm. And I still, actually, one of the things that I still do over and over is just write in notebooks, get, you know, big old moleskins and things, or, and just, just handwrite, because it's, it's not real. Um, but one way you get through the wall is just by convincing yourself that, that it doesn't matter. Nobody's ever going to see your first draft. Mm -hmm. Nobody cares about your first draft. And that's the thing that you may be agonizing over, but honestly... Whatever you're doing can be fixed, and you can fix it tomorrow, and you can fix it next week. For now, just get the words out. Get the story down however you can get it down, and then fix it.